Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. My name is Lori. I'm a reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. I have a really special video for you today. It's small, it's quick. I went thrifting with my mom. The main character is going to be this dress here, which retails for $1,400. I have a little bit of a ship and shop for you, so we're gonna do some shipping. Then we are going to go thrifting with my mom, picking up some stuff for her trip to Florida. She is there right now having a great time. I only picked up three things, but we're gonna spend some time talking about this $1,400 European linen dress. You don't wanna miss it. Let's get some of these items pulled and shipped. I sold this, I think this is it right here, this Rebellion. I think this was something that when Tina and I were going through all of the bins that this was just in a bin but wasn't listed or anything like that or we were it was a delist or relist. Isn't this pretty? This sold for full asking price. This was definitely a style-based pickup. So it sold for $25. I love the crochet detail. Lumpy, there's something over there that he loves the smell of and he just rolls around. Hey, what are you doing, silly? What are you doing, Freshie? These little bins fit so perfectly in this space right here. And I keep all of my bras and bathing suits and sports bras and stuff like that in here. But what sold was this Enel bra, um, which is a specialty bra that is really high in support. And it has all these um, hook and eye closures in the front, but this is like a double zero. It's really tiny. I bought a bunch of these a couple of years ago when I was at the Goodwill in State College visiting my kids at Penn State. These retail for like $80, but I think because it's such a small size, um, this was one of those things that I think I priced in the $40 or $50 range. I had sent so many offers and finally someone came back with a $25 offer and I accepted. It was time to let this one go. I believe my cost on these bras was like three or four dollars. Next up is this Rails blouse that sold. I sent an offer out for $35 with discounted shipping. My buyer accepted. It's this really cute little gingham top. I used to get very excited if I found a Rails dress. It's not quite what it used to be, but still obviously selling. I don't have any other Rails pieces in my inventory right now, so anything I've ever had has sold. Um, isn't this cute? $35. It's a very lightweight gingham blouse. I'm happy that that brand is still selling. And last up for Poshmark is this Bowden sweater, which I don't think I have seen this much excitement over a Bowden piece in a very long time. It sold for $50. I had it listed at $79. This is the new tag Bowden. I've never found the new tag. So this is a very new piece. I believe it's still on the website. I just think a random offer came in for $50, which I accepted. I bought this at Goodwill in Boston and I paid $5.49 for it. And I've probably had it for just about a month, if that. So it's a great return and I'm happy to move a wool sweater right at the start of spring. All right, another sale from American Girl. I, I still have so much to sell, but I sell so much American Girl stuff and I need to do another wave. We've just been working on so much of it. This is where we keep most of our AG stuff. We used to use this as a work table and it's become uh, an inventory storage because I have so many AG things to sell. This is the travel in style dress. Um, it retailed for $28. It sold for $22. I had it listed for $28, I believe, which is the price on the box. So always happy to move out some AG stuff. That was an eBay sale. Also, I sent out offers for 40% off um, items that had been in my closet for over 100 days, but I just did that about a week ago. So these were the only two sales that I got. Actually, this one was in a Jones New York dress that I just sent out. So this sold for $22. It's a new with tag gap purse. It's really cute. Retails for $39.99. Yeah, it looks like Gap Outlet probably too. Isn't this cute with the little chain, cute little spring bag. And then this was a bundle that's heading out. These are some accessories from the Sunshine Garden set for American Girl. Um, it came with like a little garden bench, but when I bought this at the employee sale, for those of you who don't know, I used to work at American Girl from 2008 to 2018 on and off for about eight and a half years total. One of the sets that I bought at the employee sale did not have the bench. So these were just the accessories that went with. They also got these hangers and this Husborn book. 
us foreign stories from around the world. So I think this was like $55 or $50. I can't remember. They sent me an offer for $38 and I accepted. Um, these are all things from my closet clear outs and from Slow Fashion Friday. Cleared out about 300 books that I donated and then I listed some. The books have actually been moving. It's been fun to watch those sales come through. And then of course, more American Girl stuff. Hi, ma'am. My mom is going on a big trip to Florida to visit my brother. So we are out thrifting. And what are we looking for today, ma'am? Shorts and capris. Okay, shorts and capris. And anything else that inspires us yeah. <laughs> for Florida life. I wish I was going with her. All right, let's see what we can find. So mom and I went our own separate ways when we walked in. I was thinking about getting these hokas. They had a lot of yellowing on the sides just perusing some of the shoes here. I think their shoes are $8, boots are 10. I liked this Royal Robins sweater, but I didn't pick it up. I have a lot of sweaters. So I'm just taking a peek, showing you some of the brands that the store offers. The prices here have gone up, so I've become pretty selective. I passed on this Madewell sweater. It had some filling. How you doing, mom? It was pretty. I like the sleeves on that. I love the sleeves. We oh, that's that. perfect. That'll be perfect. Yeah. Really and cute. Talbots. Great. Meme so cute, excited for her Talbot sweater. This is a pair of frame denim that I left behind. Just an example of something I used to get very excited about. I think their jeans are $10 here now, which is pretty high. Here is the dress. Um, that we are talking about today. I knew it was something nice because it was well made. It was a brand I had never heard of. It was linen. So I decided to take it home with me, but I had no idea what the value of this dress truly was until I got home. And we'll talk about that later. Meme scoping out the Lululemon for me. What'd you find, Barb's? It's Lululemon, right? Yeah, it is. This is an older style. Not in good shape. Yeah. Mm, not the best style. Mm. This is how Meme and I shop. I think it looks cute, Ma. It's <laughs> I think this should be my thumbnail. <laughs> You'll be comfy. That's what's important. Yeah. Who needs dressing rooms? Not us. All right, I decided to leave these Gymshark behind. Wasn't the best color, a little bit of wear. I did pick up these Abercrombie Soft AF sweatpants. It just looks so cozy to me. Mom, I can't believe it. Yeah, I grabbed that for myself and I put it back. I love it. I love the beads right here. And I here. just got that little black lacy skirt. That would be so beautiful. Isn't it so pretty? All right, that's it. I'm getting it. She keeps saying she's done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you picked that up. I loved that. That's really cute with the black. Yeah. That would be so pretty. That's a cute ensemble, Mom. Do you need flip-flops or anything? Got them. Okay. My black Nike flip-flops. Okay, perfect. Okay, Mem found what she needed. I was still hunting a little bit. I found this Faraday shirt, which is in this cloud cotton. Those are some comps on the screen for you. And you know I love to pick up Cape Cod sweatshirts, but this just had a lot of cracking in the graphic. Um, they had a lot of sweatshirts here, but a lot of them just looked pretty tired. Here's another Cape one, had some staining. Um, yeah, Disney Cruise, I thought about grabbing this one. I should probably look at the comps on that. Hope that wasn't a mistake. Meme found some sandals and we headed out. Give me about an inch of height. Yeah, those are adorable. I love them. How much sandals cost so honey? My husband's working late tonight. I've been hanging out on the couch with Lumpy. I had a glass of wine with my girlfriend Tabitha. We had our annual visit where we make pizzelles for Easter. And today we started later in the day. It's usually a morning activity. So there was some wine involved and some apps. I really didn't plan on shooting a video. And then I got home and I was taking a peek at this dress. I'm like, I have to talk about this dress. I wasn't going to share this video because I only picked up three things on this day. It was more about my mom. I always film some footage just just in case. I picked it up based on fabric. I couldn't find any comps on it when I was in the store. When I got home and put it downstairs for Tina to photograph, she did the Google Lens trick on this and discovered the name and style of this particular dress. And then we looked into it and it is a $1,400 dress by the brand called Isoud, I think. I-S-O-U-D-E. Let me know in the comments if you've ever, ever heard of this brand. To me, this is the epitome of quiet luxury. This is something you would never expect to be this much money. It's the Isoud 
mandarin collar european linen dress and this is in lavender. So you can go to their website and the model is wearing this dress in white. This is an in-house fabric. Please allow two to four weeks for production. So I think they receive your order and they make it in-house. So it's not a custom dress, but you choose your color and your size and then they make it on site. They offer it in 18 colors. Oh, actually I take that back, nine, 18, 36, it looks like 40 different colors that you can choose from. I don't know that there is a size in here. It is fully lined. It has this beautiful lavender. Let me hold it up to show you. Here it is. So it has a little drop waist. This is stealth wealth, if ever I've seen it, like three quarter length sleeves. The thing about this is if you look online, a lot of people have slacks from this brand listed for $300, dresses listed for $900. But then when you look on the sold comps, they're more around like that $100 area. I feel like I have a special piece because it is a current piece. I'm obviously not in a rush to sell it. It costs $10. My mom ended up getting some cute pieces. We went to one thrift store before the one that I showed some footage from, and she only picked up a little, like a tennis skirt that was very stretchy. It had all different shades of like turquoise, lime green, white, navy blue. When we were at this store, she found a white cardigan sweater. She found that turquoise cardigan sweater as well, and then she found the bathing suit and the cover up and some sandals. She did really well. So I was just kind of background here, but I did want to talk about this dress. I will flip the camera around in just a moment to show you the details on the website. The only other things that I picked up that day was this um, Faraday t-shirt in the men's department. I've been trying to look at more men's pieces because I feel like I'm light on my men's stuff. Sometimes, you know, the men's stuff isn't quite as overpicked as the women's. It's called their cloud cotton. Faraday is one of my favorite brands to find. This was a $4.99 pickup and the comps for this are between, I would say $25 and $40. I think I listed mine for $39 or $38. This is in a size extra large, cloud cotton. I will show you the Faraday logo because it's one to be on the lookout for. I do love picking up Faraday. Not all pieces are created equally. Some definitely sell for more than others, but it's still a brand that I enjoy grabbing. And the other the other thing that I bought is already inventoried. I bought those Abercrombie & Fitch soft AF sweatpants. Um, they retail for 60. They look like they might be on sale on the website for about $45. I'm probably gonna list mine for 38. Hope that they sell for around 30. This was definitely the star of the day for me. Okay, so this is the brand Esaud. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Feel free to correct me. I hope there's someone out there who knows this brand um, and can tell me a little bit about it. I'm gonna move me up here. Um, so this is the dress, the Mandarin collar dress, $1,400. You can choose the size and then the color. So here is the dress in blue. I mean, I just would not, never think that this was a $1,400 dress. You know, it's just unbelievable. Lump, you coming up? You coming to say hi? You want to say hi to everybody? I love you, baby. Okay, let's look together. So if you go down... <laughs> okay, I'm going to put you down. I love you. Get down. Okay, too many kisses. So if you go down here, you can see the color selection. Um, so this is why I was saying, I thought initially that there were 18 colors because my color is right here. This is the lavender right here. They do have several different options. So this is the color that is mine. This is the lavender, but you can see they have all these antique gold, cool blue. They're really gorgeous. It really is a beautiful linen and I can show you the inside here too. It kind of has this little trim along the hem and here's the liner the workmanship is just beautiful. Look at the inside. It looks like that could be the outside of the dress. I do not think that this is the type of dress that somebody is going to just happen upon. Whoa. That's just the wind, honey. He did not like the sound of the wind. I'm going to wrap it up. If we look at some of the other dresses on their site, you can see this one is $3,300, 1600 2500 3900 I mean, this is an extremely high-end site. You can look on eBay. Oh, actually, funny enough, this dress right here is on eBay, so also on the current site. They have this listed on eBay for $900. I don't know who's going to buy this dress. 
I'm pretty excited about it. You just never know what you're going to find. And it looks like my head is on the body of this dress. I think I think I like this dress better. That's more me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me know if you've ever heard of this brand. This is just a really exciting find. That is all for today's video. This was small and mighty, a $1,400 linen dress that I purchased for $10. What do you estimate it would sell for? What would you list it for? And let me know if there's any piece of quiet luxury that you have found that may not be known to the masses, but could just be waiting for that one person to buy it. It could be a real winner for you as a reseller. I always say that that I don't know that I could ever be somebody who sells liquidation or buys pallets only because the hunt is what I love the most. And it's moments like these where I'm not really even in the market for myself. I was there with my mom. I stumbled upon this incredible piece. Thought it was special based on the fabric content. That's why it's always so important to know how to spot quality pieces, even if you don't know a brand. Got it home. Thankfully, Tina did the Google Lens search on it and it turned out to be this incredible piece on their current website. Very exciting. I love these moments. Let me know in the comments if you've had anything exciting happen to you at the thrift store lately. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really does means so much to me. Like this video if you had a good time. I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.